with Merrill Grams, August 22nd, 2013, around 8 o'clock at night. Uh, so Merrill, how long have you been working at Mondragon so far? I've been at Mondragon about two and a half months now. I started at the beginning of June of this year. And what do you like most about working at Mondragon? I like the people I work with. I also like that our workplace is very proactive about giving, I guess, a place for people who might otherwise feel uncomfortable working. And I know in the uh, food service environments, there's a certain type of people who seem to thrive there, and it can be a difficult place to work with uh, if you aren't that type of person. So I feel that Mondragon is really good at having a balance of uh, different types of people working there. That's what I, one thing I really like. And I also really like the amount of creativity and freedom I have in the way I go about my day-to-day -day work at Mondragon. And what do you feel are, are some of the challenges working at Mondragon? Well, at the end of the day, if you're still a cafe and a retail place, and a lot of our day is taken up by the meal labor required to run things like that. So preparing food, cleaning, and working with customers, all that kind of thing. And that's, you know, that's the reality of it. And I like to say, you know, that no matter how long you've been here, you're always going to be cleaning a toilet at some point or taking the garbage out. You never get out of those things. But in a way, that is a great equalizer, I see. What comes to mind when you think of how Montreal might be of service to the community as a whole? We are definitely a focal point for uh, Winnipeg's uh, radical communities and activists and other communities. We uh, sort of serve as a meeting place for so many of those people and whether those meetings are formal or just a gathering of like-minded friends, we. Uh, are a very physical and tangible place for people like that to meet. And I think that's one of our strongest points that we're sort of that, that physical presence that brings people together from all these sorts of diverse and uh, interesting groups. Are there any directions that Montreal has not yet embarked on that you would love to see in the future? I think for the most part, people come to Montreal, but I'd like to see the idea and you guys yeah. open yeah oh I just go through bro <laughs> I'd like to see that Mondragon sort of idea and our and our hard work go out to the community so whether that's being more involved in events and happenings I know that we like both the best, but there are so many other things going on in our city and in our community that Mondragon can be a part of. And I know we've started uh, being involved in other organizations like uh, the Canadian Work Co-op Federation and so on, but I definitely think we can branch out outside of uh, just being a cafe and bookstore and a grocery store. Yeah, so you left the resources to be lost. Uh, in an ideal world, what would you like to see the ultimate Mondragon? The ultimate Mondragon, it sounds like the, you know, the final form of a video game boss. <laughs> but I think the ultimate Mondragon would be beautiful to be in. And it would be a place that people of all sorts can come to and you know feel like this is my place to be too. Uh, I feel that we can uh, be that sort of pillar of community, not just you know a restaurant, but almost sort of a community place. And I like to see us you know going and striving to be true to what we're started on, which is ethical food and labor practices and just really make sure that we stick to those after all these years.
thanks for taking time to participate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.